Hello and welcome back to Infinite Jeff, the project where I, Jeff, write the book Infinite Jest to you one page at a time, one day at a time. Put it up on the YouTube dot boob for everyone to peruse. I don't know why I do that. I just like being stupid. <laughs> All right. So, this is page number 361. Here we go. Grizzled, and refers to him mentally as Kid. Erdity, or Erdeddy, 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 how did I say yesterday? Erdeddy? Erdeddy's in the house mainly for his quote unquote marijuana addiction. It's a tough one. Which Gately has a hard time identifying with anybody getting in enough trouble with weed to leave his job and condo to bunk in a room full of tattooed guys who smoke in their sleep and to work like pumping gas. Erdity just started his nine-month humility job at the Merritt Station down by North Harvard Street in Alston for 32 minimum wage hours a week. Or to have his leg be joggling like that all the time from tensions of withdrawal from fucking grass? But it's not Gately's place to say what's bad enough to make somebody come in and what isn't. Not for anybody else but himself. And the shapely but big-time troubled new girl Kate Gompert, who mostly just stays in her bed in the new women's five-woman room when she isn't at meetings, and is on su a suicidality contract with Pat, and isn't getting the usual pressure to get a humility job, and gets to get some sort of script meds out of the meds locker every morning, Kate Gompert's counselor, Daniel S., reported at the last staff meeting that Kate had finally opened up and told her she'd mainly come in for weed, too, and not the lightweight prescription tranks she'd listed on her intake forms. Gately used to treat weed like tobacco. He wasn't like some other narcotics addicts who smoked weed when they couldn't get anything else. He always smoked weed and could always get something else, and simply smoked weed while he did whatever else he could get. Gately didn't much miss weed, either. The shocker type... A.A. Miracle is he didn't much miss the Demerol, either, today. A hard November wind is spattering goopy sleet against the broad windows all around the hall. The Provident Nursing Home cafeteria is lit by a checkerboard array of oversized institutional bulbs overhead, and a few, a few of which are always low and give off fluttery strobes. The fluttering bulbs are why Pat Montesian and all the other photo, photic seizure-prone area A.A.'s never go to White Flag, opting for the freeway group over in Brookline, or the candy-ass Lake Street meeting up in West Newton on Sunday nights, which Pat M. bizarrely drives all the way up from her house down on the South Shore in Milton to get to, to hear people talk about their, analysis, eh, talk about their analysts and sobs. There's no way to account for people's taste in AA. The white flag hall is so brightly lit up, all Gately can see out of any of the windows is a kind of shiny, drooling black against everybody's pale reflection. Miracles, one of the Boston AA terms heir to D and the brand new and very shaky veiled girl residents standing over him complain they find hard to stomach. Ooh, who's that veiled girl? As in, we are all miracles here. And don't leave for five minutes. Don't leave five minutes before the miracle happens. And... To stay sober for 24 hours is a miracle. Except the brand new girl, either Joel V or Joel D, who said she'd hit the occasional meeting in the past before her bottom and had been roundly repelled, and is still pretty much cynical and repelled, she said on the way, All right, well, Miss Van Dyne, I guess she didn't kill herself. She uh, apparently is in rehab now, Gately, so that's cool. Good for her, I guess. Um, but, pow, it's an addendum to yesterday, or whenever you listen to the previous day's page. I got more records in the mail. A few more, I'm going to show them off to you. I know you care. I care. I'm going to get my cap on my sodi. Coke Zero. I'm a fan. Again, I don't want to hear your fucking, your lectures about diet sodas. I just don't. I got no time for it. No time. Don't care. No time for that shit. 
So, get my trusty blade. And so this is the one from Romania. Ooh, sexy from uh, Niche Records. Cool. This is the one that was like really cheap to buy from Romania for some reason. So Bucharest, I mean, looks like. <laughs> yep. Post restaurant up six Bucharest sector four. Ooh, sector four. Anyway, let's see what's in there. How do I open this? This is a weird box. <laughs> oh, it's my Lyos TFCF, the uh, 420 Estuary Angler, double deluxe double vinyl edition of 1000. Custom made sandpaper sleeve. Includes signed print, cool. Previously unreleased tracks, which I'm excited about because I really like this album. Uh, lyric booklet, colored vinyl, which is the same color as the one I already have, which is red. High definition digital copy. So, uh, a little bit of wear on there, but the price was super nice. Like, I think I paid 25 for this out the door to get it shipped from Romania and it's a limited edition price so I'm not happy I'm not unhappy with the, the whole process I kind of wish they'd thrown in a sticker or something I always like sticker especially from weird record uh, places stores I guess would be the word I'm looking for record stores and they're not weird they're just in a different hemisphere that's kind of neat but anyway so that's liars and we got one more this is from Tejas, Caroline, which is, Heather, you're probably going to like this one. If anyone besides Heather ever listens to this in the future, Heather is my good friend who uh, listens. She's my only loyal listener as of right now, so I appreciate her patronage. Matronage? But this is... And I like that they've gone to using the, instead of plastic sleeves, this band has been going to cardboard, or like, a, you know, brown paper outer sleeves. But we got little... Oh, yeah! King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. KG, which is Explorations in Microtonal Tuning Volume 2. Volume 1, of course. Duh. Was our 2017's Flying Microtonal Banana. Uh, let's see. A little bit of damage on the top there. They could have done a better job packaging this, but here we are. This one was delayed. This one should have come in, like, November. But apparently, due to COVID, they had some pressing issues, so... Uh, yeah, a little bit of split damage on the top there. It's got the obi, which I like, this strip thing. And, ooh, textured cover, which is neat. Yeah, yeah, not the best shape. A little disappointed there. No download. Again, I'm one of the few that still loves the downloads. But this one, I think, is a really... Oh. It's uh, pink. I thought it was supposed to be a different color. Huh. Well, I was... Hmm. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a different color. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm not super happy with the condition of this record. But... I am looking forward to listening to it. So, so anyway, that's a few more that I got. And that should be everything that I have in the post right now. Kind of a backlog. So, um, yeah. Um, I 
out of battery. This one shouldn't be. Oh, sometimes they draw well, sometimes they don't. <laughs> Have a great night.